fault driver east. You're very welcome to another video from Gondog and Fly. Now, regular viewers to the channel will know that um, I'm constantly bemoaning the fact that the opportunities for hunting in my neck of the woods here, in my little corner of Ireland here, have reduced massively in recent years and are constantly being diminished as a result principally of um, intensive agriculture. Wildlife is a long ways down the list when it comes to priorities. So wildlife habitat has been removed at an exponential rate. It's it's hard to put it into perspective, but in comparison to say 30 years ago, I think we might have something in the region of, of three or four percent of the wildlife habitat we had just those few short decades ago. So as a result of that, um, populations of wildlife have reduced massively, particularly um, wild pheasants, woodcock, snipe, ducks, all the birds that I've hunted for so many years. And this is in fact the first year, and I've said this before, you're probably aware of it, this is by the very first season in I don't know, almost a half a century, I suppose, that I haven't owned a gun dog. And it's a tragedy, really, to have to say that I, I could actually envisage a life, given that I've been hunting for so long and have, have owned um, gun dogs over such a long period of time, that it would just be finished just like that. And essentially, I, ha I've, I had my mind made up that there was little point in keeping a gun dog because of what I've outlined already. And today, I think uh, it's late in November now, and I've only been out hunting once, and that was the opening day with my friend Tom, and you might have seen the, the video um, that I made about that. And again, the same thing, we, we, hardly, we met a couple of pheasants, but nothing like it used to be. So that's the way it is unfortunately um, and that that's happening all around the country to varying extents depending on what part of the country you're in and it's becoming more and more difficult to find places to hunt and to find habitat wildlife habitat essentially but <laughs> I, I started looking back through some of my older videos there um, one evening there last week and I was watching a couple of the videos where I'd been out hunting and as they say around here, something grabbed me. It, it, it was like a meow came on me. I, that's an expression in Ireland. In Ireland, it means that a desire. It can mean varying things, but in this case, it means this desire, this, this another Irish word, grow, the, the, the desire for hunting arose in me again. It, it became impossible to ignore. Now, for people who don't hunt, that's probably very difficult to understand. But anybody who hunts will know exactly what I'm talking about. It's like, it's like something that, it's, it's a, a compulsion, something that you just have to do. So, I watched a couple of the videos and I had a really, really good gun dog. Some of you might remember Lady, an English setter. She was a brilliant dog. But I felt that like she was kind of wasted here with me because she simply wasn't fun fulfilling her destiny if you like so me and lady parted company and she went up to a man in Galway and he says she's probably the best gun dog he's ever had and she's actually somewhat of a legend in the locality and that, I, I, I actually phoned him after watching the videos to find out how lady had progressed in that and again that just increased the desire even more so I phoned a friend of mine in County Limerick and I was telling him all about this and this man breeds Irish setters and he breeds the best of them really he breeds top class working Irish setters and as a result of that phone call 
Let me introduce you to Rua. This is Rua. <laughs> Six month old Irish setter. And I've had her now for around a week. And we've been getting to know each other. Now there's a lot of wind today so there may well be some a lot of wind noise. I'm hoping that the microphone on the GoPro will pick up my voice but I'm hoping I'm coming a little closer. Um, Rua is just six months old and I've had her in a field just once previous to today and what I saw in that first outing was um, a, a testament to her breeding. All belong to her are first class working dogs and she's um, she is likely, very much likely to be the same, I think, given what I saw on the very first day. Now I just let her go in the field, she ran around the place, and any bird she saw, even in the air, she chased it. So she's got that really strong hunting drive. And um, as you can see, she's a small and light dog, and these are the kind of setters that I like. Um, so if you see sort of somebody walking an Irish setter around a the town, they're generally twice or maybe even three times as big as her because they're they're not a working line, they're um, a show breed and they're really, really big. The proper working lines are very much smaller, generally speaking, and she's one of those. So what I'm going to do here today is, I'm, again, I'm going to let Rua run around and I'm going to try and get her recalling although my friend who had her previous to me did a little bit of work with her on the recall um, I had difficulty with her the last day because of her intense interest in hunting which of course is a good thing but I need to get her to recall and along with that what I might do today being it's a windy day and uh, very suitable for that is I'm going to try and introduce her to shot so these are the two things I'm going to do today now bear in mind again I'm going to attach the bit of camera I'm looking at to this fitting on my cap and you'll be seeing what I see and it's very windy like I said so there's likely to be quite a bit of wind noise in it but uh, that suits my purposes today as regards introducing her to shot so I'm gonna lift that little camera now fit it to my cap and then uh, you can see how Rua goes in the field now like I said it's very windy um, I'm just going to let her go, let her do her own thing, see what happens. We're walking into the wind here, so um, I'm hoping there might be a snipe maybe. Uh, it's just to see her actions and to watch what she does and how she hunts. So I'm going to try to turn her here now. Yeah, good, she turned left. Now we have a lot of crows flying around, so the last day I had her out, she was chasing crows in the air. That's a great recall. Good girl. Good girl. Now we let you go again. Good girl. Go. Well, as she's, she's starting to, s to slow down the setting motion, she's 
feeling some she's sensing something in the wind oh yes we love this yes oh snipe <laughs> hey she's just starting to set when the snipe got up wild now a six month old pup I think you'll agree this is a very promising start and now the gears have gone up since she winded that snipe good girl Rua so these are all just pre preliminaries she's getting to know me I'm getting to know her she's getting to know about scent and game and all that it's all new to her Good girl, Rua. Good girl, good girl. Here is a great girl. And she seems to be eminently handleable. In other words, that she's coming, she wants to be around me and she's staying around me, which is great. I'm really proud of her now after that snipe. It really looks delighted. So what I'm gonna do now is on top of that hill over here is a place where I've always met snipe before. So I'm gonna head in that direction and I'll get back to you shortly when I'm over there. Well, this is a huge field here and generally speaking there's a couple of snipe but usually on the top of this hill so I'm going to try and work her up and I'm going to actually even try to get her quartering here so what I'm going to do is I, she's out to my right now I'm going to turn left blow the whistle and head left and hopefully here she comes excellent So in future, hopefully, she'll be watching me when she learns. She'll be watching me, watching my hand for directional signals. Hang on. Yes, another snipe. Hey, <laughs> excellent. And she did pause just for a fraction there. Almost set. She has, of course, the setting is a or pointing if you want to call it that is instinctive and natural for a setter uh, but she again has to learn how to do that and she has to learn to work with me as well now I'm going to go right that's brilliant I'm delighted so far oh and on, another scent I'd say Now I'm going to try and turn her again. Now she has a scent on top of the hill, I've no doubt. Oh, right across the hill. Hang on. Now it looks like she's got a, yeah, that's almost certainly another bird. So she's starting to set, and she's moving in now. There you go, another snipe, brilliant. Now she's chasing it, don't mind that for the time being. Rua, come on, good girl. Rua, good girl. Hey, 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 get here, get here. Good girl, good girl, good girl, good girl. Now, she, why I growled at her there was I called her into me and she wanted to get away to hunt more, but she has to come into me when I call her. So, when she went to go away from me, I let her know, and then when she came towards me, I also let her know she was doing the right thing, as you can see. She's full of beans here. Oi, 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 oi. Mad to get going. So people, this looks like I have 
a serious hunting dog on my hands. Okay, Rilla, good cow. Come on. And of course, this little dog has no idea, in one sense, what she's doing. It's all just purely instinctive. Breeding, basically. Genetics. There was obviously a bird there. Rua. Good girl. So now what I'm going to do is... I'm going to fire a shot. She paid no heed whatsoever to that, which is exactly what I would have expected because all her concentration is on scent and birds. I'm going to fire another one now, just let her out another little bit. Paid no heed whatsoever, brilliant. closer. I was going to fire a shot behind my back. She, she registered at that time, but she's not perturbed by it at all. Rua! Rua! Hey! 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 Good girl! Hey! Good girl! Hey! 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 Here! Here! Good girl! Good girl! Now when she does the right thing, comes towards me, comes into me, she gets loads of praise and loads of petting. But she was, again, she wanted to go away. I didn't hunt and that's we have there's a fine line where you have to be careful where not to uh, I would say upset her hunting instinct or to interfere with it in any way but at the same time we have to have control but I think it would be very difficult to we'll say stop this little dog from um, wanting to hunt the desire is so great in her so um, I'm going to walk around another bit, fire another one or two shots, just on the safe side, and uh, let's see how it goes. Okay, Rua. Great girl. Come on. Come on. Looks like she stood on something, a nettle or something. She's biting at her paw. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Just check her paw there, see if it's a torn or anything. That's only a nettle, I think. So that's, you're gonna to have to get used to that. Good girl, come on, come on. <laughs> a snipe broke out right beside me. Rua, here, Rua, Rua, Rua. Now she has the scent of that snipe. Watch her, watch her nose, watch her actions. See it? Look, <laughs> that's where the bird got up just there. Good girl. We were walking with the wind as opposed to into the wind, that's why. And there's where the bird got up just there. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Again, another shot. Pay no heed at all. Excellent. So this last 15 or 20 minutes or so have told me what I predict. I already knew in a sense due to her breeding that she has all the potential to be an excellent gun dog. And um, given that she's only six months, this is my second time in the field with her. She's absolutely brilliant. Really enjoyable to be out with a gun dog again, so folks. Definitely looks like I'm back in the gun dog business. And I have to say, I'm over the moon because of it. Um, it just seems kind of unnatural for me not to be out and hunting with my own gun dog. So now, Rua has um, filled up that, that niche for me again. So, 
I'll keep you posted as we go along how Rua gets along. I have, I'm fairly confident that I'll be actually shooting over her very soon because everything is like in, in just that 20 minutes, half an hour, I was able to figure out what kind of dog she is. And um, I have no doubt that she has all the necessary quali qualities to make a really nice gun dog. So once again, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you liked the video, be sure to um, sub subscribe and uh, click the like button. And there's a link in the description to this video where you can actually help out the channel by making a little donation on Patreon. That would be appreciated. So, from me and from Rua, good day and kei lorella, bigi sloin, agus bigi ag fiach agus ag iascra. Rua! Good girl, come on, come on, good girl. Hey, hey, good girl. Perfect recall. You gotta love it. <laughs>